Hey guys, what's going on? Vishwas here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether BitTorrent is good or uTorrent is good. So my brother asked my question, actually he commented on my previous video and asked me to explain the difference between both. So when I decided to go for torrents, I actually searched for this topic on internet and I downloaded uTorrent. But still, I searched a bit more about that topic and finally I am here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about whether BitTorrent is good or uTorrent is good. So let's get started. So yes guys, as far as I have seen, uh, both of them are actually owned by the same company which is BitTorrent. But going a little, uh, you know, to the history, what happened was, at the time when uTorrent was under development, BitTorrent was actually released. So it was like uh, by the mid of 2005 something, BitTorrent was actually released by a person. Uh, some people, I mean some websites say that he was actually joined with the BitTorrent company itself. But by that time when BitTorrent was released, uTorrent was still not released. So by 2005 or 6 something, uh, uTorrent was released and by the end of 2006, even BitTorrent uh, owned the uTorrent. So both of them came under BitTorrent only. Now, the thing is that both BitTorrent and uTorrent is owned by the same company which is BitTorrent. Instead of their colors and uh, interface, I mean the colors in the logo and some such small changes, you can't actually differentiate between the uTorrent and BitTorrent because both of them are almost same. Now talking about the main differences, how do they differ? Many people say that the size of uTorrent is comparatively less than BitTorrent. Yes, I have seen that thing like uh, uTorrent is like 1 MB or 2 MB something whereas uh, BitTorrent is almost 3 MB which is a bit more. Well, that doesn't really matter but uh, that's actually a bit more compared to the uTorrent. Now coming to the frequency of uh, uh, frequency of updates to the software, uTorrents get a lot of updates continuously whereas BitTorrent is not developed that much compared to uTorrent. Well it does get updates but like you can get uh, alpha, beta and all kinds of versions in uTorrent which is like a pre-released version but in uTorrent, uh, in BitTorrent you won't get all these versions. There will be only a main version which is released uh, much slowly compared to the uTorrent. Now the platform of compatibility, both of them are like uh, available to Mac, Windows obviously but the thing is that uTorrent is also available for Linux whereas BitTorrent is not that much. And coming to the cryptocurrency mining, you might be thinking like why I am talking about cryptocurrency mining. If you know that thing at the time of installing BitTorrent or uTorrent, you will get some bloatwares like they have you know partnered with some ads company. I know that obviously the software company. So at the time of installing uTorrent or BitTorrent, you will get options to download other softwares too. But it is said that thing that uTorrent was slowly slipping in some cryptocurrency mining stuff into your computer at the time when you installed it so when people installed the uTorrent they actually observed that their computer performance was a bit decreased and when later they went deep inside to search about this thing they found out that thing that uTorrent was slowly introducing some cryptocurrency miners into the computer what they were doing was that they were utilizing your computer power without your permission so few people in order to get rid of this thing went back to the previous version but still due to the security reasons and all they had to upgrade to the latest version but which is faster BitTorrent or uTorrent talking about this thing both of them are owned by same company and they use the same code so people say that sometimes their uh, internet speed was more in uTorrent sometimes in BitTorrent but talking like generally both of them will have the same speed because of the code they use and all. However, uTorrent was developed in C++ whereas BitTorrent was developed by C++ and later it said that it's been shifted to Python. So that's also a different. Now talking about speed, download speed is mainly dependent upon your internet connection. Both of them works like peer-to-peer -peer, uh, basis. So obviously the number of peers you have for your file does matter your internet speed it's really not dependent upon both applications because they work almost same it depends upon how many peers you have for your download file and also what's the speed of your internet connection if you really have a bad internet connection you obviously cannot 
get better speed whether you have a BitTorrent or uTorrent. Talking about the Android applications or the iOS application, now both of these applications are available on Play Store and both of them has the same rating of 4.5 but still it does look like BitTorrent is not as popular as uTorrent in Android platform. Sadly for iPhone users, you can't get uTorrent or BitTorrent for your iPhone or iOS devices. The reason is because Obviously, torrents is used to download copyrighted material or content and Apple won't allow that thing so it's still not available for iOS downloads. People say that uh, by adding VPN you can actually increase your speed but if that's real then it should be applied to both because both of the working is same. Now talking about which is good. I don't think that cryptocurrency mining stuff is still going on on uTorrent but uh, I prefer uTorrent I've been using that thing since a very long time and I am enjoying the experience it's even light not as heavy as BitTorrent obviously you might say 3MB is nothing for us but yeah in that case it's obviously not but I prefer to go for uTorrent most of the time I even had better speeds I even tried BitTorrent long back but uh, I had almost same experience they don't differ at all and don't trust on internet speed given on internet you can trust all of them but as far as I have seen I suggest you to go for uTorrent only but if you want to go for BitTorrent you can give it a try it's just 3 MB right so option is left up to you so that's for this video guys however if I was like this all the time that's because of the light this is for this video guys make sure to like the video if you didn't like this video make sure to dislike but also let me know what was the problem in this video by commenting it commenting it down in the comment box below and also let me know what else topic you want me to discuss and yeah uh, if you have any suggestions for me you can obviously comment it down below also your opinions or suggestion whatever and yes guys if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends who are confused between uTorrent or BitTorrent and that was really confusing to talk however I will see you in the next video till then do random bit random as always peace